More Chesterfield students returned to class today and bus delays are still happening across the county due to a shortage of drivers. CBS 6's Caroline Colburn is working for you looking into the new problem some parents are dealing with today as well as some improvements that have been made. Hi Caroline. Well good afternoon Cheryl. This morning the car drop off line at Swift Creek Elementary School had actually improved. Cars weren't stretched down Genito Road like we saw yesterday morning and also at Melothian Middle School. Some parents say that the process there for dropping off their kids was smooth. But it's the bus pickups and drop offs that continue to be an issue. As some parents tell us their children didn't get home until late yesterday afternoon and others say they had actually had to go to the school to search for their kids. This Chesterfield school bus comes to a halt along Windmill Ridge Drive in Midlothian Tuesday morning, 25 minutes behind schedule. You expect issues the first couple days of school. But mom Kate Morales didn't expect what happened Monday night. The little kids didn't get off their bus until 629 and they're supposed to be home at um, 445. I was so hungry I had three pieces of fried chicken for dinner. Other families with children at Woolridge Elementary also reported their kids getting home after 6 p.m. And over at AM Davis Elementary. There was just lots of frantic parents looking for their children. Mom Tiffany Hagen says she opted for her son Bentley to ride the bus, but he was put into the parent pickup group and she got a call to come get him from school at five o'clock. Finally, I found him. He was in the last trailer all the way in the back of the building, um, back of the school property. Parents were, at, were just trying to look for their kids everywhere, asking staff um, and staff couldn't answer them. The district says this is all due to the bus driver shortage and they've communicated to parents to expect delays. They've had plenty of time to try and figure it out, uh, but I'm not really sure what the solution is. While these parents understand the driver dilemma, they expect day two to go smoother than day one. There's never going to be a perfect scenario, um, but what happened yesterday just is uncalled for. Now we reached out to the district to find out more about these delays and also the situation at AM Davis and a spokesperson tells us that they've told parents they can continue ex to expect delays because of this driver shortage and regarding the issue at AM Davis, they say they cannot comment on any individual's issue there because of privacy concerns, but that they're relaying this information to the school directly. Working for you in Chesterfield County, Caroline Colburn, CBS 6 News.